Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com, and in this video here, I'm going to show you, well, tell you how to build a locks pen and how to tame locks in Valheim. So, as you can see right now, I have a uh, pretty big locks pen, and there's three locks in it. So, what I did in order to build this pen is I essentially found these locks on a little peninsula in the plains. Like, if you look at my map right here, this is where my locks pen is, and originally, I created a wall right here that basically walled them off I'll show you the walls up north over there I originally created a stone wall that walled these guys off so they couldn't leave this peninsula and then I essentially tamed them and finished making the pen which you see right now and I've tried a few different materials wood there's no chance in hell wood is going to ever hold locks because they'll just smash it with one smash Stone does a little bit better of a job, but it's still unreliable because if you get too close to the pen, they'll start smashing the pen and other enemies can spawn and also destroy the pen and then your locks get out and it's a nightmare. So I figured the really only good way to pen locks is with a natural wall, which is what you see now. This wall is high enough that they cannot climb over it. And after I made the wall, I ran into another problem. It, and that was I had lots of enemies spawning inside my locks pen that I did not want in there. I had goblins that spawn in there. I had death skeetos, which spawn around the outside of my locks pen, which just makes it a pain in the ass to feed the lock because then I have to kill the mosquitoes. And I also had goblins that were spawning too close to the wall of my locks pen and then destroying the wall. So it was a constant thing that had to be upkept. Uh, until I did the natural wall and as you can see I have these little pillars throughout my locks pen which contain workbenches I have three of them in total and I, as you can see around the outskirts of my pen I have a few other workbenches scattered throughout uh, and these are done purposefully so enemies don't spawn in this area and this has managed to get enemies to stop spawning here entirely um, I originally started with just putting workbenches around the locks pen and that wasn't enough to stop goblins from spawning inside the locks pen. So I built towers made of stone and core wood to hold these workbenches. The towers got destroyed by the lockses. So I made natural towers with which hold the workbenches and those obviously can't be destroyed by the lockses since they can't equip pickaxes yet. But that is essentially what I would recommend you do for a locks pen. You might be looking at this and think to yourself, like, dude, that's going to take me forever, all the stone. Well, I did kind of go a little bit overboard when I made this pen. Because, like, right here, uh, I could have not made a wall because it's deep enough that the locks are unable to swim through it. So I could have spared myself, you know, making an entire wall around this outskirt, but I wanted to do it anyway because I wanted to place the workbenches here and I also wanted to be extra, 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 extra sure that no locks was going to ever jailbreak out of its pen. And this is another area too, as you can see, this is like almost getting to the, uh, the sea. And uh, I wouldn't have had to build a wall here if I didn't want to. This workbench I have enclosed off because I wanted to repair my items with it as well as it kept getting destroyed by mosquitoes. So I decided to put a little, give it a little bit of extra protection. And if you have any workbenches that are getting constantly destroyed by mosquitoes, I'd recommend you do the same thing. And as you can see, here's a mosquito. And these are the sorts of, uh, this is the sort of stuff that you have to deal with when you make your locks pen. And especially if it's big. The mosquitoes spawn around the outskirts of it, and they will spawn, like, as you can see, I don't, I don't, none still spawn inside my locks pen, but they are spawning outside of the locks pen. You can see there's a little stinger there from, uh, well, that was an arrow, actually. You can see there's got, uh, scrap metal where I'm aiming right now and shooting, because goblins spawn out there. Skeletons also spawn out there. There was a bugged skeleton, which I don't think exists any longer. No, the bug skeleton went away. There's a goblin, though. Oh, and he's on one star, too. Don't want to get hit by him. But these are uh, these are the things you, would, you want to keep out of your locks pen to the best of your ability. And they will spawn outside of your locks pen, so it's very, very important that you create workbenches and create some sort of natural protection. 
because you don't want them to smash through your locks pen and then the locks escape while you're doing something else in game or just in general when you don't have time to rebuild the pen. So that's very, very important. And that's really all you guys need to know as far as it comes to, uh, or as far as making locks pen goes and capturing and taming locks. As you may already know, you cannot, um, at this point in time, you cannot do anything. Uh, as you see, I got a mosquito that spawned in my locks pen. Apparently, I'm not entirely free of mosquitoes in the locks pen yet. Unfortunate. We'll have to figure out where the where the last remaining workbench is in place. Like, and this is a good thing that you can do a, a good demonstration rather. When you uh, actually this, I like this way more. Raise the ground. Pay attention to the circles on the ground where the workbenches are and figure out where there isn't a workbench. Like, as you can see, the workbench I'm standing in right now, the one on that pillar right there and that one, they'll both overlap into this area. So that's obviously not where the mosquitoes spawned. So let's run around the perimeter real fast and figure out if there is anywhere where there is not a workbench. Just basically what I do at this time is I keep an eye on the bottom where it says workbench and I wait until the name goes to red. And then I'll know that there's a gap there and I need to make a workbench closer. As you can see too, it's not the most uh, pretty sort of locks pen that I've made. This was uh, like this little area was an addition that I did recently because I realized there was no wasn't enough overlap between the workbenches. There was no workbench in this area when I was doing my scouting so I had to create one like that and I am like 90% sure that every area oh there was one right here so there's a little tiny area right here where there's no workbench that would be able to uh there's no workbench around as you can see it's blinking none so maybe this is where the mosquito spawned I'm not entirely sure so what we would need to do is we have no wood on us anyway do we nope so we wouldn't be able to make a workbench right now, but what we need to do is build a workbench basically right here. I would build it right on this little lump, and I might need to raise this lump up so the locks don't destroy the workbench either. But that'll stop the mosquitoes from spawning, hopefully, in our locks pen. But that is, that is actually, I think, all you need to know about this. I'd also recommend keeping a chest nearby uh, with your locks food in it. They eat cloudberries, flax, and barley. Basically, any vegetation that grows in the plains. They will not eat meat. I've tried feeding them meat, and they don't really like it. So, uh, you need to f f feed them berries or some sort of vegetation. And that's really all there is to it. Hopefully, this video taught some of you guys some stuff, and hopefully it helps some of you out. And I will catch you guys around the next video. Peace.